Hello, my name is Maria Gileo, and I am a dietetic intern studying at the Pennsylvania State University. Today, I'm going to be talking about antioxidants. What are antioxidants? Antioxidants are molecules which are found in certain foods that help protect our body against harmful reactive species called free radicals. To understand how we benefit from antioxidants, it is firstly important to understand what they protect us from, the free radicals. The scientific definition, as seen at the bottom of this page, states that free radicals are reactive atomic species with one or more unpaired electrons. To get a better understanding of this definition, we must move from large scale to small scale. Our body, the human body, is made up of approximately 32.7 trillion cells. These cells are broken down even further to be made up of molecules. Every molecule in our body is comprised of atoms. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter and they create everything around us. The center of the atom, otherwise known as the nucleus, is made up of protons and neutrons. Surrounding the nucleus are electrons. Electrons fly around the center of the cell in specific shapes, otherwise known as orbitals. So as the previous slide alluded to, Free radicals are all about the number of electrons atoms have. The green box to the right will represent an orbital. Each orbital can hold up to two electrons. When one electron is removed, the empty space acts like a magnet, and it pulls electrons from neighboring atoms to fill its empty space. This action creates a new free radical, which will start a cascade of atomic and cellular damage throughout our body. This cascading effect of free radical formation may cause mutations in DNA, may create holes in cell membranes, and allow for the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. These damages may lead to, or speed up the process of, heart disease, certain cancers, rheumatoid arthritis, and eye conditions such as macular degeneration and cataracts. Free radicals are created by normal physiological processes inside our body, but they may also be created by environmental conditions. Certain environmental conditions that cause free radical formations are smog, ozone, radiation, chemicals, and cigarette smoke. So how do antioxidants protect us? Antioxidants play the role of an electron acceptor. It takes the unpaired electron from a free radical to neutralize the atom. This eliminates the magnetic-like pull from the free radical and helps stop the cascading effects. Antioxidants are found in three different vitamins, beta-carotene, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Minerals such as zinc, magnesium, selenium, and copper also act as antioxidants, but in a lesser capacity. To our upper left-hand quarter, beta-carotene, which is a part of vitamin A, is found in Brussels sprouts, sweet potatoes, spinach, tomatoes, and carrots. To our upper right, vitamin C is found in blueberries, pomegranates, broccoli, citrus fruits, and sweet peppers. And finally, to our bottom, vitamin E, which is found in nuts, seeds, margarine, oils, wheat germ, whole grain products, and it can be added to commercially bought salad dressing. Each antioxidant fights different free radicals within the body, so it is important to eat a variety of foods containing each antioxidant to maximize their effects. Now the research behind the use of antioxidants is mixed. In 1999, the American Heart Association conducted an epidemiological review and reported that high levels of antioxidant consumption through fruits, vegetables, and whole grains showed to reduce the risk of contracting certain cardiovascular conditions. The report goes on further to recommend that a balanced diet high in antioxidants is the best way to protect ourselves against various diseases. However, the same review suggested that taking supplements of vitamin E and beta-carotene rather than consuming whole foods did not have the same protective effects. Additionally, a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute found that high levels of beta-carotene supplementation in those who smoke cigarettes were linked to higher cases of lung cancer. And finally, a large study conducted in France 
found that the experimental group taking a mixture of antioxidant supplementations had no more protective cardiovascular effects compared to the control group taking a placebo pill. The take-home message from the mixed research is best described by two sources. The nutrition professionals behind eatright.org recommend eating a well-balanced diet, emphasizing the consumption of the recommended intake of five cups of fruits and vegetables per day. In similar regards, Penn State's assistant professor of immunology and toxicology says, the key is to eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, and nuts to ensure that we are taking advantage of all the health benefits that antioxidants can provide. As a conclusion, eat a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains as a part of a balanced diet to get the most antioxidant benefits. I want to thank you for your time and I hope you learn more about antioxidants through this lesson.